Today's weather is sponsored by McClintock Preferred Finishes, wholesale and supply store, with two locations, one in Paducah, Kentucky, and the other in Evansville, Indiana. Good morning, everybody. I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. It's March 21st, 2017. I'm watching an area of thunderstorms push across southern Missouri. Now, we do have a risk today, later today, for a few severe storms in our region. The primary concern is probably going to be hail and then a second concern, perhaps some reports of high winds. The tornado risk today is fairly low. It's not a zero risk, but it's fairly low. We don't have a lot of CAPE. CAPE is uh, instability for the thunderstorms to work with. We're also uh, mostly north of a stationary front. The front currently drapes across the Kentucky-Tennessee border. Let me see if I can put that on here. Uh, Kentucky Tennessee border down into West Tennessee and then across Arkansas this is currently a stationary front it will wiggle around a little bit today storms north of that front are elevated and this radar is around 10 10 10 a.m. you see a few red boxes those are primarily for hail some hail being reported in these storms now, as we move through today these thunderstorms will track eastward and primarily impact southern Missouri into the boot hill, perhaps clipping southwest Kentucky and then into western Tennessee. It is that area that the primary risk for severe weather will be placed today. Now, north of that area, not saying you're not going to see some rain and storms, we certainly might see some activity develop north of that line, but believe these storms will remain below severe levels. Maybe some reports of P to dime size hail, similar to what happened on Monday, but the main concern will be more over the southern counties there. Let's just put on the Storm Prediction Center severe weather outlook. Now, they have different categories. This light green area, barely see it there. General thunderstorms not anticipated to be severe. You get into this little bit darker shader, you can just barely tell there. Maybe I need to change my color scheme. A little bit darker area, that's a marginal risk for a few severe thunderstorms. But the yellow and orange, those are the areas with the greatest risk for some hail today and maybe some damaging winds. Orange being the greatest risk, that's outside my forecast area. But certainly portions of our area are clipped by the slight risk, and that would include areas like Donovan, Poplar Bluff, into the Missouri Boot Hill, Hickman, Kentucky, northwest Tennessee. The Storm Prediction Center will update this the Storm Prediction Center will update this again around 11, 11.30 a.m. Sometimes this shifts around a little bit. With the front being so far south, that should keep most of our st storms elevated, as we call it. Surface-based storms is when we start thinking about uh, tornadoes and larger hail. Elevated storms north of the front, probably not going to be surface-based. We'll keep an eye on that. It's the surface-based ones that can produce the uh, extreme weather, the 70, 80 mile an hour winds, the golf ball, the baseball size hail, tornadoes. Since our cape today is elevated, we expect a main concern to be perhaps some reports of quarter size hail, uh, maybe some 50, 60 mile per hour wind gusts. And again, the main concern area will be the area in yellow. Tonight, it will turn cold on us. I expect 30s across northern parts of southeast Missouri and much of Illinois, and then 40s elsewhere. So it will be cold tonight. Maybe this will be the last cold night for a little while. As we move into the rest of the week, watching another system around Friday and Saturday with thunderstorms, perhaps centered on Friday night and Saturday. Another system on Monday or Tuesday with storms. Every few days, we're going to have shower and thunderstorm chances over the next 10 to 15 days. Active pattern, it is spring. Keep a close eye on each storm system that might produce some additional severe weather for our region. It is that time of the year.